farmhouse on the couch. Okay. With three kids. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the, I just, I just try to help him, man, as much as so I could. Wait, so, Wavy, what was your what was your agreement with her? Was it like she moves in with you and she she works and and you take care of the kids? Because I know in the video you saying you take care of the kids. What was your agreement when she moved in with you? How is this gonna work? All right, poly life is about all of us coming together and uplifting each other. She knew all this shit. We have five bedrooms. So, so what the fuck was gonna happen with the other three rooms? <laughs> she only keep one of her kid, and we in one room. What was gonna happen so with me, the three rooms? We were supposed to fill them shits up with women. Fuck out of here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So there was one room with you and the children, and then the other rooms were supposed to be for the other woman in the poly relationship. Exactly. Okay, so then why did you decide to make her your fiance, and where did the conversation start with you moving to a new place? Where the fuck she got a ring to be my fiance? I thought you said that you were going to uh, engage this is her. This life. I mean, you know, it's 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 a poly. It's common sense, like. Okay. Like speaking common sense. So was that a storyline when you were saying that you were engaged with her, talking about a wedding? No. Wavy, let's just get to the nitty gritty here before we even move to New Jersey. You have been known for a lot of storylines and a lot of fake things. You've been on World Star. You've been posted. You have a lot of followers on Instagram. You do have a social media following on other platforms. So when you came over here, was the whole thing with Polly Goddess a storyline with you and her, or was she actually part of your Polly brigade? She was part of my Polly life. <clears throat> okay, so you two decide to move to New Jersey. Why were you doing that? And take the kids? We didn't move to New Jersey. I moved five minutes away from my mom's crib in Delaware for her convenience because that's where she had a job. And she just okay. got that job. I met her. Okay, so then now we look at this video. You moved there for her convenience. There's no furniture, nothing like that. What the fuck happened in this video that we see with the child? And you and her going at it. Like, where did it go left? What happened? You move in. Everything's looking good. What happened? When I started telling her how we're going to fill these rooms up with other women. Mm -hmm. She got into a rage and started going crazy. Okay. About? about other women coming to the crib. But why would she do that if she knew what your lifestyle was about being poly? Yo, something is really wrong with her. Okay, so in this us. argument, so in this argument, Wavy, that we see online, it gets a little heated and there's one, there's her 10 year old child there. And you state in, in the video that where was, who was there taking care of the child while she was at work, while she was doing all this stuff? Were you the primary person taking care of the child while she was out and about? I registered a kid in school. I put the kid in school. Me and Sandy. Oh, wow. Yeah. So who is Sandy? It's my other wife. That's my bitch. Okay. So Sandy is the other one. Were you ever pimping Sandy out or was she just part of the poly lifestyle as well? Nah, bro. That shit is all lies. That shit is cat. Okay. So Polly Goddess and Sandy were supposed to be in the same were they supposed to be in the same 
place with you, or it was Sandy a different? They was in the same place. Okay. So what happened? What was their relationship then? It was mad cool. All but right. They never got so, to the point where, where they had differences with each other, nothing like that. Okay. So she and claimed. They never had sex. They never had sex. Oh wow. So she claimed she she made a few statements that I want to highlight here. Polly Goddess claimed that you were never paying any bills and that you were broke. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, they never had sex because we was basically easing everybody in where everybody felt comfortable in their space. You know what I'm saying? That's the only reason. Not that she wasn't ready to do it, because she was. She was ready. But, you know, there's a lot of girls come and go. Cindy been with me for for years, and she's seen girls like her before. She wanted me to. In the beginning. Now, when when you say, when you say have sex, you mean have sex with each other, the two females, or both have sex with you and each other? All of us having sex at the same time. Is that a requirement of the poly lifestyle that you all have to have sex at the same time? No. Okay. But but that's something that you were trying to develop with these at least these three ladies or prepare them to be comfortable enough to do. Holly Goddess wanted one of me. Sandy was holding back because bitches like her come and go. Okay, um, so let's fast forward. You guys are in there. You're arguing. You're saying you're taking care of the child. I want to highlight some. I want to highlight some things that Polly Goddess said. She said that you are broke and you didn't pay any bills or anything of that nature. Um, I do have some receipts, Wavy, of another female that you interacted with who actually got you a PPP loan because you had really bad credit. Um, she's actually on the line as well. Um, it might have been a female that you were talking with as well. Um, and she helped you get a PPP loan. When I it comes to Well, I have I have the receipts. Just give me a second because I just wanna I just want before we talk about that. When it comes to all when it comes to all of this, Ray receipts bring up. No, I give me a second. When it comes to all of these 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 sheets and these women claiming that you are broke, why is that the first thing they go to financially? I know that you said it, you have a job. What would your react response be to all the women who say that you don't have any money, you don't pay any bills, that they're the ones paying for everything? They just want some company. If I'm broke and they fucking with me, that means they just want some company. <clears throat> Okay, so in the midst of this wavy, you're arguing with her. She's arguing with you. She moves her arm, the child, her child into the room. There's allegations that you also grabbed her child's arm as well, and the police was called. What happened between you guys arguing online and her daughter? I don't really, I can't really recall if that happened or not, but um, it was a lot going on. Can you tell us what? I never done nothing to harm her. No. Like, you tell me. You don't remember grabbing the child's arm? It was, uh, it was on the. Not. <clears throat> I don't remember, bro. There's a lot of shit going on. So, in between that period of time and now, what has exactly gone on? Because the police have been called, there's been a separation, and you are currently still at that same place that you and Polly Goddess argued at. What exactly is going on? Nah, I lost all my money with the crib. Cause she called the landlord about me fixing the pay stubs. You understand what I'm saying? So it was like, I lost like 8,000. Fixing what pay stubs? What what happened with the what, what happened with the pay stubs? But I, I kept my crib in New York. You know, the, what? 
nigga, are you the, wavy, wavy, the, are, wait, wavy, wavy, are you high? Are you high? Nigga, the, the pay stubs, when you get the credit, nigga, stop like this. Nigga. Yeah, I know, but what happened with the pay stubs? Yo, bro, she told the landlord that's what happened. What happened about the, the pay stubs? With... <laughs> this case. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, by me giving the landlord pay stubs, they told me I had to leave the crib and they're going to call the cops. Were the pay stubs fake? Bro, nigga, I just said it mad times. Okay, so the pay stubs are fake. So you were basically scamming to move into this new place. It's pay stubs. My money be real. Okay, uh, Morse code. So where are you located now? Did you have to go back to the original spot? Fuck that ain't, bro. I never left. I never left my crib in New York. I paid the rent of the month, and we're giving this shit a trial month opportunity. And I lost eight bands fucking with her. Hey, I want to start. I'm broke. I always, always have a couple hundreds in my pockets. I mean, a couple thousand. Of, uh, everywhere I go. So, all that, all that broke shit. Okay, Wavy. So, we're going to pause on the polygodist thing. You apparently, you had some words for a few people, clout chasers and losers and lames who have been going around. Well, Polly Goddess has been going around and talking to all of these different folks. There was a few names on this app of people that you called that you said you had a few words to address. Um, let's start. I mean, who, 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 you said a few people you wanted to air the fuck out. That, yo, listen. That old bitch Empress. What happened with Empress? And her ugly ass daughter, roasting. I mean, roast. Okay. Roach. Bitch look like a roach. Okay. What What happened with Empress and 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 the daughter Roach? What happened? <laughs> they trying to. They trying to cover the sto story and they don't know what the fuck is the story. How you gonna cover the story and you don't know what the fuck is the story? Without me. And I'm the, well, I'm the reason why there's even a story. But, she, but didn't wait, had a, she didn't want me to put it on live. I put everything on live. But you, you, didn't, have in, you didn't have an internet in the last 24 hours. I ain't had nothing to have, so why would I put it on loud? You didn't have Wi-Fi in the last time. Because I moved to the fucking New York crib. You see? I mean the Delaware crib. And I had to get my Wi-Fi transferred from here to Delaware. And I had to transfer it back. And shout out to Yoni Pearls, man. Make sure y'all go to Yoni Pearl God. She got me the cream. That shaved, I put that cream around it. Yo, this shit is wavy. I'm telling y'all, Yoni Pearl God is official. So, so apparently, so apparently, products, apparently oh. Oh. interviewing Polly God, Polly Goddess tonight. How do you feel about that? Fuck them bitches. So, is there anything that Polly Goddess has said about you that is true, like a pregnancy? I think, I don't know.